Hey, this is Jonathan Keith with a quick Cinema 4D animation tip inspired by a request by one of my students, Daniel Jackson. Uh, and Daniel asks, how do you animate a texture along the surface of an object? Well, uh, the first step is to get an object and apply a texture to it. And it helps if that object has uh, good UV coordinates. And uh, UV coordinates just sort of refer to an object having a sense of where a texture belong along, belongs along its length. And uh, good objects for that are going to be any of your Cinema 4D primitives and uh, pretty much any of your NURBS types aside from a subdivision surface. So here I have a sweep NURB. And if I go to the material that I've applied to it, I've got a checkerboard. And I'm going to adjust my number of tiles to create more stripes along my length here. And I'm going to go with even units. And I'm going to adjust the number of tiles on you here to be three so I can see more of my checkerboard action. And what I want to do is animate this texture sliding along the length of this surface. And that's what these offset values will allow me to do. So if I adjust my offset here, you can see that it is moving along the length. At frame zero, I'm going to set this to zero. And at frame 90, I'm going to set this to 100%. And then I'm just going to be clicking on these little dots here to add keyframes. So when I press play, it's now animating along the length. Now, one thing to watch out for is if you want this to seamlessly loop, if you're using this for um, part of a long piece that you just want to be able to repeat, it helps to adjust your keyframe interpolation. So right now, both of these keyframes have spline interpolation. And I want to select both of them and switch them over to linear interpolation. And what that's going to do is ensure that my movement between my keyframes is nice and even, and there's not really a hiccup. Now, right now, there's a slight hiccup in my animation because the very first frame and the very last frame are functionally identical. So I'm going to set my animation length here to 89 frames, and we should now get a seamless loop along the length. All right, uh, that is, again, how you animate your texture. Again, apply your texture and then adjust the offset U or offset V parameters, add some keyframes. And if you want it to loop, change interpolation to linear and get rid of that uh, last frame in your animation and it should loop seamlessly.